Hello and welcome to this ALINT Pro tutorial. My name is Brandon and today I'll be showing you how to import and run your external project designs within ALINT Pro. This feature makes the linting process a breeze, whether you've developed your designs in Cordis, Vivado, or Aldex Zone, Active HDO, and Riviera Pro. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. We can begin the conversion process by going to Tools within the menu bar of ALINT Pro. And when we uh, hover over convert here, we can see all the different types of project files that we're able to convert into an ALIM Pro workspace. So here we can see we have a Riviera Pro workspaces. We can convert active HDL workspaces. Uh, this option here is for Cordis project files. And then of course we have Xilinx's own uh, project file types. Uh, this one's for Vivado and then ISE. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and convert a Riviera Pro workspace. So selecting the option, we'll launch the Convert Riviera Pro Workspace Wizard. And from here, all we have to do is navigate to the workspace file of the uh, project we're interested in. So we'll go ahead and go to the uh, examples within uh, Riviera Pro. Uh, it's got a number of them. In fact, I created a uh, example project here based off them. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use this one. And we can continue with the uh, wizard. And first we can see we get a uh, preview of the workspace that we're about to generate. So let's go ahead and finish this up. And we can see that immediately uh, the tool has generated the ALINT Pro workspace. Uh, we can see here that's created a number of projects too, in fact. And that's because uh, the original Revere Pro workspace had two designs within it, a uh, Blackjack and Verilog and a Blackjack and VHDL. And just like any other uh, ALIM Pro project, I can go ahead and run the Flow Manager on it uh, by clicking right here. And ALIM Pro will go through uh, all the phases, uh, parse, elaboration, synthesize, and all those other processes, uh, just like normally. And once it's done, we can see that uh, a number of our viewers have been populated now. Uh, the elaboration viewer is updated as well as the violation viewer. And there you have it. We just went ahead and converted a external Reviewer Pro workspace into the equivalent uh, ALIM Pro workspace uh, in just those few and simple steps. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And of course, thanks for watching.